In this film we're going to look at fitting a connex link to this chain. Um, there are several different types of joining link on the market. The advantage with having a joining link fitted to the chain is that it should be easy to remove and refit the chain for cleaning or for any other kind of maintenance. Shimano chains from New are fitted with a riveted in pin. That pin can then not ever be removed. If you're going to separate a Shimano chain uh, using that system, you have to fit another chain, an, uh, sorry, another pin in, a, in another part of the chain um, when you remove the chain. And you have to do that every time. And each joining pin has to be at least five links away from another joining pin. So as you can imagine, if you're taking your chain off uh, once a week or once a month, you're soon going to run out of room. Um, also, that joining pin is potentially the weakest link in your chain. You don't want to be adding weak links. So we want to add a link um, that makes it easy to remove the chain, that is reusable and that uses no tools. Fitted in this KMC chain from new is a joining link but this KMC link is not reusable. You can only use this once. So if we separate the chain here for cleaning, we have to then buy another link to replace the one we're removing. If we use a Connex link, that can be used as many times as we like. So first of all, we want to remove the KMC link and to do that, we need special pliers um, that fit into the chain to compress the chain together and pop the link apart. There is a specific park tool for this. There are other makes of tool. Um, to save money, I've taken the grinder to a pair of uh, long nose pliers so that they fit in between the chain links. Then we can compress the link. There we are. So we've separated the chain, separated the link. The two halves come out of the chain go in the bin and then we're left with two male ends of the chain. We need to replace the link we've taken out with the connex link. So here's the connex link. It consists of two identical pieces. This is actually a used one. Um, there is orientation to this so um, we have to fit the to the front end of the bike in the front side of the chain. So we pop the link into the chain like that. At the back end of the bike, the piece goes in the back side of the chain. We bring the two halves together. We ch turn the chain to 90 degrees either side of the link and there it is fitted. So it's nice and simple. When we want to undo that link, we turn the chain 90 degrees either side of the link, push the two halves together, and it just separates as easily as that. So now there are no fiddly tools to use, um, and we can use this link as many times as we like. It doesn't snap together or pop together like the other links on the market. This one fits by a labyrinth fit, so there's no stress on it and the tolerances don't change every time we use it like they do with the other links. So you can actually make this last um, longer than one chain. So when you change your chain because it's worn out, you can keep the link and fit it to a new chain. Um, these aren't expensive. They run from about, I think they're £2.50 for a nine speed one. The 11 speed one's a bit more expensive. They're nearer £20, but it's well worth it because it means you can easily remove the chain for cleaning and removing a chain is, is really the only way to clean it properly. We'll explain all that in another film.